Google has made its eighth major robotics acquisition in the past six months. This time, it's a big one, Boston Dynamics. They're one of the leaders in robotic technology, and they're sponsored by DARPA. They're the people behind such advances, such as Atlas, Big Dog, Cheetah, Petman, Pet Man, San Flea. Flea. They are outstanding advances. Now, I'm wondering, why is Google acquiring, making so many robotics acquisitions? Um, well, this is certainly the biggest one. These, you know, Boston Dynamics is the leading robotics firm around, at least in the U.S. these days. Yes. Um, they are, I mean, I can't speculate as to why they're making these robotics acquisitions other than they have a lot of money and high goals. So they are, you know, getting into self-driving cars, space exploration, advanced AI, uh, who knows what other, you know, secret projects they're working on, but certainly this, you know, robotics is going to make them the leader in whatever industry they choose. I think Boston Dynamics is significant, not only because they're a leader of robotics, but also because of their connections to DARPA, which is a U.S. defense agency department. It's a, is this a little, You're a little about much? Skynet. I get I'm worried. Yes. I'm wondering, is Google actually Cyberdyne? Are we gonna need to start a rebellion? It would not. When when I was reading this story, you know, they they've purchased Boston Dynamics and they say they're gonna honor whatever contracts Boston Dynamics is working on presently, but they're not going to do any sort of military-based funded projects in the future. Mm -hmm. um, See, it's so vague what you can talk about when you're saying what's, you know, for the military industrial complex and what's not. Yes, we can make bipedal robots that do lots of good things. They can also march into the field of battle. Like, that, you know, it, it's not, it's not um, guaranteed that whatever projects they're working on in the future don't have military applications. That said, it's not difficult to imagine a world where Google starts slowly at first to you know, branch out into all these seemingly disparate fields and then eventually become a military superpower without anyone realizing it. Uh, this is actually under the leadership of Andy Rubin at Google, and he had previously run the Android department, which is kind of uh, ironic when you think about what, what's the uh, classical definition uh, of an Android, a humanoid that. robot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he did make huge advances with, with the Android and um, its reach and its power. Uh, it just, it, it makes me wonder about Google's think tank and what they plan to achieve. Their and uh, it seems like the sky's the limit. Their brain trust is uh, kind of scary at times. Basically, from what I understand, and all this stuff is behind closed doors and very hush hush, but there are you know pretty prevalent rumors about it, is that Google brings smart, you know, brilliant, creative, innovative people together and says, listen, you have no budget. You can do whatever you want. Nothing is off the table. Mm -hmm. So research into alternate dimensions and research into the most advanced AI ever, living forever, time travel, you know, whatever you want to put your mind to, go crazy. Google is funding it. Wow. It's, it, I mean, it's scary and awesome and really out there. Mm -hmm. But somebody's got to do it, I guess. Google Just wants to be those guys. They probably will. If I could imagine any company rising up and causing the singularity, it's probably Google. That's, that's the, the one that comes first to my mind. And now they have a big, scary, bipedal robot to put that singularity into. What do you think Google plans to do with its eight major robotics acquisitions? And do you think those plans could be Cyberdyne-esque? I ask that kind of in tongue-in-cheek, kind of not. Uh, please let us know in the comments. And also, please be sure to subscribe.